Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video I would like to compare Samsung heat pump dryer with a SATA heat pump dryer that I posted review and couple of follow-up reviews and tips and tricks a couple of weeks ago. So if you didn't see my SATA heat pump dryer video, I'll put it in a card above and also try to link it in description. If you would like to see any of my other reviews, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. So let's talk about heat pump dryers in general. What they are, what they are not. First of all, I would like to make sure that we are on the same page. The heat pump dryers are different from any other technology of the dryer. So we're not talking about tumble dryers, we're not talking about condensers, we're talking about heat pump, heat pump dryers. And in particular two models, because they're so similar, I would like to compare them and um, make sure that you make your choice when you buy one and the choice that you make will suit you well. One disclaimer, this Samsung machine is five years old. It has six star energy rating. Latest devices come in, I think, eight, nine, even 10 star energy rating for heat pump dryers. And a SATA heat pump dryer is six star as well. And because a SATA is Chinese made, Chinese brand, and it looks so much like Samsung, I would like to emphasize how close they are in their operation, yet they're different in design. And I will go from top to bottom and try to explain what is the difference and what I see is better in one or another. And then we'll talk about noise and operation and drying and things like that. So first of all, starting with Samsung and Asata, you naturally will be drawn towards Samsung, it's well-known brand, well-supported brand. Whether they support well or, or not, it depends on your country and, and, and how Samsung operates in your country uh, where you bought it. However, in Australia, Samsung has all right service and I never use a SATA, so I don't want to comment on that. But if your item is working well, let's move beyond service. Let's start from top. On the top, you've got container, which has branding and level of uh, how much water it's already accumulated. And that's where Samsung wins, because the container in a SATA doesn't have that layer level. Uh, so you don't see how much water is inside. When I say Samsung wins, I retract that statement by saying you would empty that container after every operation anyway. So I think it's kind of gimmick, uh, redundant feature. And also if you use it quite often, I suggest to plumb it. And I put already a video about how to plumb a SATA. Samsung is not much different. In a Samsung, you've got better instructions. It's easier to see how to plumb it instead of collecting water in container. So this is where kind of same Samsung a little bit better. It's not an advantage, just stating the obvious. In the middle, you've got in Samsung, you've got dial, in Asata, you've got buttons to choose from. Um, this is where Samsung wins again, but again, in my books, it's a bit of gimmick because amount of operations are the same. What Asata does better in the middle, right on top, you've got auto which is totally automation of operation. Doesn't matter what you put in, there's a sensor will take care of it. Here, you need to choose your operation. Honestly, if, if you know how it all functions, it's all the same, it's just how your machine sensor perceive what you're giving it and the outcome you're receiving. But you know what, if you would like more visuals, Samsung win because it's really nice dial, it eliminates, it gives you sense of luxury. In operation sense, it doesn't really matter. However, I do like Samsung's approach a little bit more. Let's move into display here. Samsung has LCD display. It's not LCD, it's actually light display with the sub functions. 
again a SATA got separate buttons and LEDs in them um, not a big deal um, I still do look like Samsung approach I believe many people are visual and this is where it's nicer to look at from operational point of view none of that really matters it's just your personal feeling and I believe this is where uh, more expensive brands uh, put more effort in not give you really much interpretation itself but really um, how you operate device itself how intuitive look as that is very intuitive but something visually more appealing now let's go to biggest portion here and this is where Samsung got clear win Asada has very standard, I say, window here. When you open the door in Samsung, you see how big this cavity is. So it's easy to take your clothes from the uh, washing machine and put it in a dryer. And I think this is where Samsung put full advantage here. Also, nice color and nice finishes inside. Asada, you can see materials a little bit cheaper when he would. Um, nice looking stainless steel drum and the SATA I think it's more like galvanized steel it's not as expensive and, and you can see that the wall quality of uh, uh, materials are good the materials themselves feels like Samsung got better ones uh, also with the filter Samsung got a very easy operation of getting it in and out as such, I, even when I was making the video, I had a little bit of play um, how to deal with the filter. So while it's not a big deal, um, when you've got bigger door, easier filter to deal with, I think Samsung got clear win here. All right, let's move down then. So you've got filter here. You firmly press on it and it opens up. That's a filter that protects your heatsink element from particles getting in and when you open it up uh, one lever down one up it gets out I think the idea of the filters better in Samsung as a, there's a two-step filter in here you've got um, very nice kind of mesh inside and material outside to protect it in a SATA you've got one layer of material which I don't believe uh, protect your heat sink in a machine better than Samsung however the design of the filter and the door better in a SATA in my previous video when I um, described uh, Samsung heat, heat pump dryer as a product I mentioned that um, when you close in this door and run machine it's a little bit kind of um, plasticky and flimsy and it makes like rattling noise in a SATA it's two levers you need to press down and it opens so because of that it feels like the materials that hold that compartment together are better made in a SATA just an observation saying that both, both a SATA and Samsung a six star heat pump dryer that means from electricity perspective that would be the same from noise when they operate they sound the same from point of design I think Samsung designed it better but it still kind of leads you to same operation and while using Asata because it's a Chinese brand that appear a little bit after Samsung presented there, I, I felt personally like a SATA is reverse engineered Samsung heat pump dryer where they start cutting corners in the luxury presentation of the item itself. Now, let's ask important questions. Which one is better? I don't know. However, I've got an opinion that this dryer already five years in operation and working well some people have problems uh, according to reviews some people didn't with a SATA drivers not many people had uh, problems and that dryer in operations in Australia for last four years that means even if they copy this product they copied well and they put some quality controls 
how it operates, right? That's the first of all. The second one is the biggest and most important. We bought this machine five years ago for sixteen hundred dollars. You, if you wait a period of time, as SATA and appliances online and whoever sells them have from time to time really nice sale. This is where you can buy a SATA heat pump dryer between six to seven hundred dollars. That is more than half price. And if I would make decision to give up uh, those luxury, beautiful presentations and focus on outcome as a uh, energy consumption, drying ability, how it dries the cloth, I would probably choose a SATA. No offense to Samsung, it's just too much money spent for no obvious benefit. And if I decide to spend a lot of money, I'll probably go to more um, energy saving brands like I think uh, Bosch and others like uh, high end brands have now uh, 8, 9 and 10 star energy rating. And again, they cost more than $2,000. Ask yourself whether you save on electricity as much as you overpay for item. To me, my current dryer is an Asata dryer. Samsung was my previous dryer. I like both of them. Financially, I like Asata more, and I believe for my money, Asata does a better job. Again, it's a personal opinion, but I wanted to help out those people that currently on the market looking unbiased, no bull review for items that I both use for some period of time. This is for five years and Asata for a couple of months already. There are no different operation, no different in noise levels. They dry and well. Actually, a SATA probably does a little bit better job of sensing end of operation uh, uh, better as the cloth coming um, dry when Samsung sometimes have a little bit under drying. Uh, your clothes need to start a uh, second time again. However, I would not uh, object you buying any of them. They are quality items. It's just totally your choice. I think it's all based on your budget and your choice what you would like to buy. So you cannot go wrong with either of them. I hope this video was helpful. If you would like uh, me to make any other videos of, about any other appliances that are around you and you would like um, unbiased opinion, please comment down below. If you like this video or any other videos in my channel, feel free to subscribe. Please like it, it will help me to promote my uh, videos on YouTube channel, otherwise they're getting buried under. And smash that notification bell, so if I post any updates about my reviews, you won't miss those videos. For now, thank you so much for watching, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.